This is the future. The future. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this will be part 4 and you can clearly see where this water is leaking from the block. So in this video we're going to remove the glow plug cables and we're going to attempt to remove the fuel injectors. Well we're still going to attempt to remove the tablet cover. The first thing that I'm going to do is take some Tipex and mark the back of the glow plug cables to make sure that I put them back exactly the same way that I took them off. At this point I was loosening all the bolts on top of the fuel lines to make sure that I can get the whole system out of the way. Next up, I proceeded to loosen the injector lines. Now I'm just marking my return line points to make sure I put them back in order as well. Be very careful when removing them because they are plastic and unfortunately this car is so old and the plastic is so brittle that I broke the last one off. So I'm gonna have to buy four new ones and replace all of them anyway. Next up, I proceeded to take off the electrical plug connector on the injectors themselves. Next up was to remove the mounting screws that hold the injectors in place. It was also at this point that I realized I had a problem with injector number 3. One of the mounting studs seems to have broken off and the other nut on the other side of that one uh, was stripped. It's round so it keeps on slipping on the socket. At this point I proceeded to loosen all the bolts that is holding the tappet cover in place. At least all the bolts that I could see at that time. Now I am 
removing this whole um, injector system out of the way. And there is our first injector. And they still look good. Let's try this again. So to remove the injector, simply take a spanner and wiggle it a bit until you can see the injector is getting loose. Then take a screwdriver, put it underneath and wedge it out. Okay. I proceeded to remove the vacuum pump and as you can see by all this dirt deposit it seems like that o-ring was starting to leak anyway. Okay, next up I had to loosen all the studs because remember if you want to take the tappet cover off you have to remove all the injectors and all the studs because all the studs and all the bolts are holding the tappet cover in place. Hi guys, so here we have a big major problem. This nut is stripped so I cannot get the injector out. Now I've been looking for the last two or three days for tools or equipment that I can use to get this bloody nut off and nothing that I buy is working. There's not enough space for any big tools to get in. All sockets are just turning around, it's stripped the whole bloody nut. There's no way to grip it, there's no way to make it loose, but the stud itself is loose. But it doesn't turn. I need to get the nut off to get the injector out. This side is already out, uh, so that one's off, that's not a problem. So I came up with a, diff a different idea. I'm going to use Prattly steel and Prattly steel an old socket onto that nut and see if we cannot break that nut. Let's see what happens. Hi guys. So. Um, we are back and uh, it's the day after so um yeah if I can get some focus going that'll be awesome so here we are back this is the socket that uh, I placed it on top of the nut with the Prattly steel let's see if I can get it loose no success guys Prattly steel broke loose from the nut before it even loosened the nut so I don't know what I'm going to do there. That's it guys. The final resort. Hammer and a chisel. I moved the living shit out of this nut. It will not bother me again. To get all my frustrations out on it. I feel fantastic. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all. There is now a Facebook page. So feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za Where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be stay taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.